A 100 megapixel camera is one of the most advanced innovations by camera manufacturers. It created a lot of rumors before offering in the market. People were confused whether it could be brought to light from the mock-up concept. Back in 2015, Phase 1 is the first camera manufacturer to reveal the concept of 100 megapixel camera sensors. Interestingly, Hasselblad was the first camera manufacturer that brought into life the concept of 100 megapixel camera with its Hasselblad 86D 100C model just after one year of Phase 1's announcement. According to dpreviews.com, Fujifilm GFX100 is not only the most popular but also creator of the highest level of enthusiasm in the consumer's minds. 100 megapixel, definitely a high-end compact camera sensor, but is it really effective as it is intended? Do photographers really prefer 100 megapixel camera sensors for professional uses? Let's get deeper into exploring 100 megapixel medium format cameras. At Camera Zone, our mission is to provide the most reliable updates of photography and cinematography gear, including expert opinion based on their performance and value. Medium format cameras are known for producing extremely high definition images and delivering near perfect accuracy when it comes to color reproduction, which is why this type of camera is typically used in fashion and advertising photography. But 100 megapixel gives an edge to photographers in terms of a far better wider field of view, look, and feel extreme versatility. In addition to features and specifications, larger image sensors, heavy and bulky body, variable film sizes, modular and customizable are the main differentiating characteristics of 100 megapixel medium format cameras. The Fujifilm GFX100 created the most hype among photographers and enthusiasts after launching in 2019 due to its incredible resolving power and 5-axis built-in image stabilization, full-frame 4K video options. Before that, Hasselblad 86D 100C was the most popular medium format camera to many commercial users. Ultra HD 4K shooting capability, improved modular design, and fast control adjustment system is lucrative functional features offered by Hasselblad. Phase 1 IQ series is another best medium format camera lineup that incorporates features such as tank-like robustness, clear interface, and heaps of detail. Nikon Z still are on the future lineup that consumers may see very soon in the market. Commercial advertising is the right place where 100 medium format camera is highly used by professionals. Besides, to have a film-like feeling in the video content and shallow depth in portrait shoots, the effectiveness of this category camera can't be overlooked. We assume astrophotography and medical sector are the potential applicable areas where these cameras may perform best as well. Fujifilm, Hasselblad, Leica, Pentax, and Canon are the key market players in the medium format game right now. And rumors claim Nikon is planning to enter into the competitive segment in the next few years with their Z lineup. Due to higher prices, lack of product availability, lack of expertise in operating and handling, the sales stream of medium format camera is relatively low compared with high specification conventional DSLRs and mirrorless cameras. Pros over cons can only determine the right answer of the question. So let's check it out. Firstly, let's check out the pros of a 100 megapixel sensor. Number 1. If you want to have the extraordinary shallow depth of field in your photography, undoubtedly, 100 megapixel sensor is the only option for you. Number 2. If you are passionate about cinematography and want to give your video a film like feeling, Medium format 100 megapixel sensors can meet your need in the most fashionable ways. Last but most important advantage, you can have your works done using dynamic performance capability of 100 megapixel sensors better than any sensors below the range. Now it's time to discover cons. The deciding element of today's video. The first drawback of 100 megapixel medium format camera is, it is expensive which makes it available to commercial photographers to purchase these cameras. The second drawback is, not everyone can operate this camera effectively. Even many professional photographers hardly dare to have it in their buckets. The third major drawback according to our opinion is the massive file format. That means the produced file conquers a huge amount of space which takes a lot of time in sharing as well as soon as space gets empty. 
Drawback number 4 is, the practical area of use of these cameras are limited and still, the right time is to come. Number 5 in our list is, its massive body size which creates a considerable amount of complexities in free hand shooting. The video presents both pros and cons side by side. Now we can get to a conclusion that these 100 megapixel sensor cameras are not for everyone. They are intended for corporate users, but highly photography enthusiasts can also buy this sort of cameras for their hobby. In comparison to value for money, high specs DSLRs or mirrorless cameras are very much affordable, popular, and well functional in today's world to both professional photographers and amateurs. Due to a handful of users, these cameras don't get enough room to lighting and consequently, beginner level photographers also are ignorant of the market existence of these 100 megapixel sensor cameras. So we can say that there is a high potentiality to boom the market of these cameras in the near future. But still, this camera segment isn't as much popular as affordable high spec digital cameras. New technology often comes with higher price and a shortage of supply. When the camera will be available in the market with an affordable price range, we assume the 100 megapixel sensor camera segment will get desirable market acceptance. Thanks for watching. We always crave to learn more. If you think we missed a product or another needed to add, we'd love to hear yours.